So I will uh, give an introduction to this training and um, it's the greatest honor to do that, to give an introduction to a training that totally changed and empowered my life. So I'm very lucky to sit here today, not to share anything I need to remember. I don't need to share anything I want to convince you of, really. Uh, I just want to uh, inspire you with, uh, with my own experience, basically. And uh, I must say that was a big relief for me when I met this training the first time nine years ago, that I was asked not to believe in anything, uh, but just to come with just a naturally open mind and, uh, and just listen. So uh, that you can do now for 10 minutes. Just listen with an open mind and um, see what happens. See what happens. Because what uh, we introduce in the Balanced View training is showing you that uh, the search is over because you are totally naturally perfect just as you are and that the striving and suffering and exhaustion lies in moving away from that and not believing in it, trying to change yourself. Before I met this training, I, I really believed in self-improvement projects, mentally, emotionally, physically, improving the body, improving the mind, improving what ty type of thoughts and emotions I have. You know, with the best intention, because I thought, you know, that was the way to be a better human being, not only for myself, but for my family, friends, everyone around. So I really believe that something needed to change until I met this training that said that that's not where true empowerment in life lies. That's not where true mental and emo emotional stabil stability lies. It lies in facing yourself nakedly and see what's really true about yourself, what's really there. To have a support system, a network that supports you to see what is really true in your own experience. So that's the framework for the introduction, because right now and always, there is something about you that is already completely perfect, already stable, clear, alert, something about you that is just happy to be, hanging out with yourself with exactly the thoughts and emotions and the physical sensations streaming through you right now. There's some, even if you go in and no, no, it's not true, the mind takes over, you think, you know, no, 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 this and this and this is wrong with me or a situation in my life or wrong, wrong, wrong. That's fine, you know, that's totally normal. But still there is something there that doesn't care about you thinking it's not true. So that's who we are as humans, you know. There's something about us that is just completely awake. So one way to introduce yourself to it right now is to, and this is something I often reflect on myself, is the, is the metaphor of uh, looking into the mirror Maybe you did it this morning, like I'm 45 now and I looked into the mirror and I see every day some new gray hair or white maybe, <laughs> depending. And you know, so I'm just looking into that mirror and I see what, you know, I see the reflection. But you know, I know that when I was five years old and I looked into the mirror, what's looking never changed. Even if I today have some gray hair and, you know, but what's looking, the ability to simply see the reflection never changes. This is powerful. None of you here is excluded from this pure perfection. That doesn't need any description. You don't need to describe the reflection in the mirror. White hair, you know, blue under the eyes, you know, whatever you want to describe. But there's something about you that doesn't care about that. There's something that has this ability to just look what is real, what is true, what is really there. No need to judge it, analyze it, trying to remove it. 
In this training, we call this, you can call it basic state, just your natural condition. We call it open intelligence. Because it's open, it doesn't belong to any special people. You don't need to do special things for it to be acknowledged and recognized in your own experience. It's already there, it's already present. And I cannot tell you how important it is today for humans to start to see this, to start to recognize that this is who you are. Time is really here to give up all self-improvement and trying to change yourself, whether that is through whatever method. But a simple training that trains your mind to really, really check. So another way to really see that you are also open intelligence is just to stop thinking for a moment. Just stop thinking for a moment. Maybe it's possible, maybe it's not. Maybe it was possible for a second. But when you stop thinking for a moment, you see that you are more than your thoughts, right? You could see that right now. There's something about you that's not dependent on what you're thinking. It's something that's here, present, listening to me, even if you, you know, maybe you're again focusing on your thoughts now. Maybe you're hungry, maybe it's hot. This is totally fine. But the whole training that we offer is to train your capacity to tap into open intelligence. Inseparable from your life. So we don't ask you to change anything in your life. Not a single life circumstance, not a single thing you need to change. You can go on with your life in the exact way you are doing it, but you use your life, your activities, your relationships, your memories, everything, you use it as a training platform. So then you can ask how, how do I do that? So in this training we just give you one single instruction, that's, uh, you know, if I said Please don't, you know, you don't need to remember anything that I've shared. Uh, this, this is good to remember. So the in instruction is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes obvious. So some of you have been involved for many years and you heard this instruction so many times. But never underestimate the power of hearing it again. It's really powerful to, to know that there is a way that we actually show you a practical tool on how you can train your mind to let your thoughts and emotions dream. Free. You don't need to control it, you don't need to change your, any of this. Your thoughts and emotions, your physical sensations, all of this in this training we call it data, data streams. First time I heard it I was really offended because I love to call many names to my emotions, my thoughts, everything, you know, making big stories and dramas. But it makes it very simple, you know, just to relax for a short moment whenever you remember. So in the middle of your doings, in, in the middle of whatever is happening in your life, in a conversation, when you are going to sleep, when you walk in the street, wherever you are, you have the practice with you. And it's so fine that maybe you think it's too simple, one instruction like this can possibly change my life, I thought so. <laughs> But I know it has the power to completely empower you, to never be a victim to your thoughts and emotions, your life circumstances, because life happens anyway. So it's better to train up what's always with you. And what's always with you is how are you going to deal with all of this? This unpredictable flow of data. It will never be predictable. That's the maybe good news or sad news. <laughs> You know, but it's true. We can fool ourselves, you know, and think that we can control this. But believe me, there is no way to control it. So to really have a training that supports you to be prepared for whatever is coming. 
is gold. So you are extremely lucky to just sit here for an hour. If this will be your only one hour listening to this, you will never forget it. At some levels, you will never forget it. It's an honor to really say that because I'm not saying this because you, I want you to like me or hate me, you know, that doesn't really matter, but I know it through my own experience. I have seen that the, the only solution to any so-called problems in my life has been to take short moments. So, you know, I can take an example of uh, depression, which uh, is my favorite topic, <laughs> just because I, I know that there are many people today really suffering as their minds, suffering as their thoughts and emotions. So I find it so difficult to share my, uh, difficult, find it easy to share my own experience about it because I have seen such, such shifts in the way I, you know, face painful thoughts and emotions. So how I do it when I take short moments with depression, for instance, is that I give myself a permission to not describe these thoughts and emotions. You can do it because I can do it. We are all humans. We share this capacity. This capacity to just know what is happening right now is perfect even if the labels are negative and painful. So, so one way to really see this is to, um, to think about a crystal ball. You know, uh, you can place a crystal ball in a heap of garbage and what happens to the crystal ball, it only reflects that garbage. It doesn't try to change it. it doesn't try to jump out of it, it just simply reflects what's there. Or you, you bring the same crystal ball down to the beach and reflect the beautiful sunset, nothing happens to the crystal ball, it just reflects that beautiful sunset. So you see the, the reflections in the crystal ball and the crystal ball itself is inseparable, it's the same. This is your mind, that's the same quality. And what does that mean when a very negative thought and emotion appear in your crystal ball mind. And what happens when a very beautiful, happy thought and emotion appears in your crystal ball mind? Nothing. Your mind is actually in reality untouched. But where the pain and suffering is, is in all of our ideas we have about our psychology, about our past, about our future, about everything. It's the ideas. Of course, I didn't believe this when I was first introduced to it. I didn't believe it at all. There were nowhere in my intellectual brain <laughs> or wherever it is that believed it. But luckily, I was open enough at least a little bit to test it. So that's the only thing we ask you from this one hour is go out into your life and test and see what, what happens when you just for a moment in the middle of, you know, confusion. So many things are happening in my life. I lost my bag. My children are not here. I'm thinking and thinking and trying to find a solution. I don't find a solution. But at least you can relax for one moment. And I have seen so many times brilliant solutions coming spontaneously, but not from thinking alone, but from relaxing as the thoughts. It's just brilliant. So many times I've removed myself from situations. But I've only done that because I have taken short moments, relaxing body and mind, as the intensity of, of the situation, and removing myself has just happened spontaneously. Like I have a very good example. One, one time this happened in, um, in a situation with someone very close to me. And this person said something so it was so unkind that I didn't even have time to think about it. But I was like, I can't be in this situation. So I just took short moment. I let this anger, this sadness, this disappointment, this frustration, this boil 
So I didn't try to avoid it or replace it or, or anything. I was just with it. And before I knew it, somehow the body had moved me to another room. I don't even know how it happened, but I was just, just so committed to not, you know, because I saw it's, the solution here is not to yell back or try to change this situation. It, I saw there were no openness for that. So sometimes removing ourself from a situation is really beneficial. I think you all can have examples in your life where you thought, okay, maybe it had been better for me to just very politely or, or kindly remove yourself because, you know, to continue to exchange a lot of data doesn't provide any solution. So this is some of the results that you see from practicing short moments is that you will have an ac access to clarity of mind at all times, gradually. So you become clearer and clearer to really see solutions that are for the benefit of all. So you can just imagine now like every human being alive, alive or not alive, every human being right now, imagine that no one are any, any longer victim to their stories, to their thoughts, emotions, their histories, no victimhood there because they know what to do with all the thoughts and emotions, being empowered to know what to do. This is a powerful solution. And it's, it's amazing to be part of a grassroots movement like Balance View that's all over the world with people from all ages, all cultural backgrounds, all histories, all professional backgrounds, everything, but sharing the same empowerment and result that this really, really works. So I'm happy to share that it really works and that I am 1000% convinced, of course, but not because someone told me. You only, only gain assurance and conviction by testing. This simple instruction, and even if your mind thinks this is so simple, it's too simple. You know, but uh, the results will, will uh, be what guides you. And of course, we also provide here a support network and an education because there will be many insights during, you know, this taking short moments. There will come so many insights about yourself. It's easy also to get lost. So to have a support network is, uh, is essential. So, so in balance, we, we call it the four mainstays. It means that you, you have the instruction that you heard. Everyone in Balance View have their own personal trainer. And you have so much media online, so you can do your self-study, you can support yourself through the inspiration and, uh, and the results from other people gone before. And we also have a community, of course, globally, locally here now, online. So, uh, that's really, uh, I would say, a very crucial aspect of what Balance View provides is this network of support because we need to be supported. So we can cut the root of all the ideas of this independent, uh, you know, like the power lies in being independent because it's never meant been, <laughs> we are never meant to live like that. The true unity of humans is, is we are here to support each other. It's the greatest gift you can give to an, an, any human being. It's, you know, giving anyone an opportunity to support. It's beautiful to contribute to each other.